This video is going to cover how to format in MLA the basic format, the overall format and heading of your research paper. Again, for more detailed instructions, you're going to want to use Purdue's online writing lab. And as you can see on here, if you look, it will go over everything. I like pointing this one out. The MLA sample paper is a good place to start because it will actually show you exactly how to do it. A few things that I'll be looking for is when you're working on your paper, I'm going to look for a few of these basic things. Let's start with the font. The entire paper should be not an Arial like this font is, but it should be, and I'm going to highlight my entire paper. It should be in Times New Roman and 12 points. So we're going to go there. We're going to find Times New Roman. And we're going to make sure it's in 12 point font. You also need a title. I have my title and subtitle here. You need to make sure that that is in the same font and the same size. The only thing you can do differently is you can make it bold if you want. And you want to make sure that it is aligned. This part is aligned to the center. Now, you don't want your whole essay aligned center. That The rest of the essay should be aligned to left like you see here. Okay, So only the title do you give that center alignment to. You should also have a heading. The heading should look something like this. We don't remember, we don't want the heading aligned center, so we'll pop it back here to the left. We don't want it bold, so we'll take the bold off. The heading should include your first and last name. So you would put your first and last name, your full name. Then your professor or instruction instructor's name. So I'm not your professor, I'm just your English 3 AP teacher. So you don't have to call me professor, you can just put Mr. Singleton. Then the name of the course, we're going to do the short, the abbreviated name of the course, AP English 3. And then last but not least, the date. One of the ma mistakes students make is they tend to want to press return a bunch here and create a big space. Don't do that. It needs to come in the next line. Okay, we don't want unnecessary spaces and everything like that. If you notice, same thing between the title and the actual body of the essay. You don't put a bunch of spaces. Some students are tempted to do that. Don't do that. You will lose points for that. Sometimes you're also asked to have a running head across the top here that says uh, your last name and the page number. I am not going to ask you to do that for our essay. All you need to do is have this heading. Make sure you have a title and then make sure all your spacing and the font and size is correct. On another video, we're going to talk about how to format your quotations, your internal citation, which you should also know how to do, and also, finally, the works cited page. So make sure to go over those videos as well.